It is 100% natural. It grows in the soil of the earth. It needs water, sunlight, and nourishment to grow mature. We could be describing thousands of different plants, but the one we are talking about today is one of the most popular plants on earth, and that is cannabis, also known as ganja here in Thailand. One of nature's finest creations has been looked down upon for many years throughout the entire world. In recent years, countless studies have been conducted on this unique herb, and the results are in. Ganja has many different medicinal benefits that could help a person suffering from certain illnesses. Some benefits include easing of chronic pain, treats depression, fights cancer, reduces seizures, helps with ADHD and ADD, alleviates anxiety, and many more. This special herb has even been used to help curb alcoholics off drinking. It has been made clear by the scientific world that this plant has more benefits than negative effects. Hence, the world is starting to relax to this medicinal plant. Even Thailand, a country that is known for having strict drug laws with harsh punishments, is beginning to relax to the idea of ganja. Let us discuss how Thailand's generic public feels about the plant. What is actually taking place right now in Thailand, what you can expect in the near future, and finally, what my predictions are on what Thailand will be like in the year 2026 and 2031 in regards to ganja. So, sit back, roll one up, relax, and enjoy Thailand's Green Rush. Years ago, if you were visiting the Land of Smiles and polled people on the streets how they felt about ganja, you would get the same answers. It's very bad. It makes you crazy. Only bad people use it. It can kill you, etc. I think you get the point. Most of these people had never tried the herb or even had known someone who had tried it. All the information that they had received was from people talking to different people. It was all rumors with no real proof behind their reasonings. In recent years, Thailand has conducted their own research, and people are starting to learn about all the medicinal purposes that this herb has. They are learning that ganja does not make you a bad person or a crazy person, but it can actually help you in many ways. If you were to come to the Land of Smiles today and pull people on how they felt about ganja now, majority of the responses will be different from the past. Many of the people still have not tried it or even know somebody that has tried it, but the perception of the plant is slowly starting to change. You are now going to get answers like, I hear it makes you laugh, or I hear it makes you hungry. It is rare to come across someone that says it's bad or makes you crazy. The people of Thailand are becoming more open to the plant. You can even see it in clothing. Many people walk the streets wearing clothing that consists of ganja leaves all over them. These are not just young people, people of all ages, all ethnicities, and professions. Collared ganja shirts are quite popular these days. Nobody is looked down upon for wearing this type of clothing. It has become the norm. Drop a comment on your perception of ganja and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. One lucky winner will be chosen at random to win a Thailand Total Access prize pack as long as you leave a comment, subscribe, and give a thumbs up to one of the videos in Season 1. This is video number 8 of 20 in Season 1. In 2018, Thailand legalized medical marijuana. This was a huge step for the country. Not only was it huge for Thailand, but it was a great success for Southeast Asia as they were the first country in the region to make this law. If you suffer from a medical condition listed in the medical marijuana laws, you can get prescribed marijuana from a licensed physician. In certain areas of the country, Thai nationals are now allowed to grow up to six plants in their homes. These plants must then be sold to the medical marijuana facilities around the country. Also, for people that have not been to the Land of Smiles in the past year, one noticeable change you will see when you come back is restaurants and cafes all over the country with marijuana leaves as their logos and decorations. These are not just marketing tactics to get you into their shop. These cafes are actually selling products with hemp in them. Now, do not take this the wrong way. These cafes can only use CBD hemp, the non-psychoactive chemical in the ganja plant. The plants being used will contain less than 0.2% of THC. THC is the psychoactive chemical in cannabis. The new law was passed in December of 2020. This law states that ganja containing less than 0.2% THC 
which includes roots, stalks, stems, and leaves of the plant can now be used in foods and cosmetic products. So you might not be getting the munchies or laughing so hard your face hurts after drinking a hemp tea, but there are still many benefits to CBD. CBD can relieve pain, reduce anxiety, and depression, alleviate cancer-related symptoms, reduce acne, and improve heart health. At these restaurants and cafes, you can order anything from cookies to different Thai soups. Everything on their menus will include CBD hemp, as you can already start to see the ganja revolution is beginning to take place. Now, let's hop in our time machine and fast forward five years into the future. It's now 2026. Where will Thailand be in the cannabis industry? Please remember, these are only my predictions. Nothing being said is a fact or uncertainty. This is me analyzing how the cannabis industry and perceptions of the plant have evolved in Thailand over the years and where it could potentially lead us. By the year of 2026, I believe that the medical marijuana industry will be widely available. As discussed earlier, medical marijuana was legalized in 2018. Just because it's been legalized does not mean it's an easy process to obtain your medication. I believe that by 2026, medical ganja will be easily accessible to those who are in need of it. This would include expats that are living in Thailand on a long-term visa. I can see many more physicians prescribing the plant, which would then lead to many more distribution centers for people to pick up their supply. I would imagine that the country's grow technology will also improve drastically. This way they can create the same quality of medication that most Western countries are producing. I don't believe that the plant will be recreationally legal yet, but I do think it will be decriminalized. Decriminalization means that if you were caught with a small amount of ganja, you would not be arrested or charged with a criminal offense. You would simply pay a monetary fine and continue on your way. Please make sure to check out our other videos on this channel for all updated Thailand travel information you could ever imagine. We are here to make sure you are smiling during your stay in the land of smiles. Shall we jump back into our time machine and travel 10 years in the future? It's now 2031. What is the ganja industry like now? Some might call this a bold prediction, but I believe that cannabis will be recreationally legal in Thailand to people 20 years of age or older, just like alcohol. I think you will be able to go into cannabis shops and purchase personal amount of cannabis to be consumed in private. I feel that in many tourist cities and small islands, you will be able to purchase ganja in which you can sit right there in the establishment and enjoy with friends. They will have different strains for you to choose from depending on what you're looking for. This will be a huge draw to the tourism industry and help bring Thailand back to the days of millions and millions of tourists visiting each year. Not only will this help the tourism industry, but it will also allow the government to tax the herb, which will generate a substantial amount of revenue. Thailand, which is already nicknamed the Land of Smiles, will now truly be the Land of Smiles. Please remember, these are only predictions. Nothing is based on fact just analyzations of the current situation and where it could potentially lead us. Times are changing. People are changing. New generations have new views on life. It will be interesting to see where this will all go. In the meantime, keep smiling, keep enjoying those CBD iced teas, keep moving forward, and be ready for the next step. The green rush is coming. Choke D.